Oke. Okay. Okay. Um, ya, yeah. welcome back to another episode of OGT guys. I should stop snapping my fingers every intro. It's weird. Okay, so I'm back. It's been roughly three and a half weeks since my last review. And if you can remember, if you watched the previous video, hopefully you watched the previous video, please watch the previous video if you haven't. But if you remember the previous video, I was reviewing the Volcano Scorpio series True Wireless Earbuds. It's still a mouthful. I'm just going to call them the Volcano Series Earbuds. Um, or the Volcano Series for um, the, the sake of time in this video. And I told you some of my initial thoughts of them. Right, while I was doing the unboxing and the initial, the first impressions. It's been three weeks and I have a few confessions. It's, today is the day after Cyber Monday. So I'm just going to start here. Um, this video is completely unscripted. So if I actually like uh, dilly dally, forgive me. But I'm just going to... Okay, yeah. First things first. If you actually did buy the Volcano Scorpio series and you're not happy with the results that you have, I promise you that... If you're not happy with the results that you have, I strongly suggest that you go back to the store, the store where you got them. Hopefully, you still have the receipt, right? I strongly suggest that you go back to the store where you bought them and ask for either a refund, maybe not a refund. You ask, you ask them to switch to the Volcano Taurus series. So currently, in my ears, I'm using the Volcano Taurus series. It's now my go-to. Um, I think it was last. It was last week. Last week I went to go and switch uh, my earbuds, so I switched the Scorpio series for the Taurus series. If you remember I said in the previous video that I used the Taurus series initially around January at the beginning of the year and I love them. I had no problems with them, right? They were, they were my first earbuds that I used and they were great. They were amazing, there was no problems with them and then I bought the Scorpio series. When I, did, when I compared them both side by side, um, I really like, yeah, it's undeniable. These ones are um, infinitely better. So right now we're going to talk about the differences between the Scorpio series and the Taurus series and why I feel you should get the Taurus series first. And actually you should prioritize getting the Taurus series. So currently, like I, like I said, these are the original buzz that I use. These are the Taurus series. They, come, they are in matte black. Right? And currently, I'm using the same version, just in a different color. This is a satin white finish, almost matte, but not really. I mean, okay, now it's matte. I don't know what's going on with this texture, but yeah. It's like a satin matte finish. I don't really know how to describe it, but yeah. When you buy it initially, it's a satin finish, but right now, it's actually gone matte. I have no idea why, but that's irrelevant. Right? So, so right now, we're going to talk about the big differences. So, first things first. Price point. Initially, when I initially bought these ones, these are the black earbuds, the matte finish, same one, Tori series. Um, the price was, I think, five hundred bucks, if I remember correctly. I stand to be corrected. This is around January. I bought them. They were five hundred bucks. Rand, rand, right? They were five hundred rand, and now they increased the price to six hundred. Um, and now the Scorpio series are five hundred. Right. That's how much I bought the earbuds for and that was the price of each. Now, another difference between them is the interface. So the interface for this one and the Scorpio series are way, way different. Way, way different. So for the interface, for the Tori series, you have, you have a voice. Like there's a voice when you turn it on, it tells you that it's just powered on, right? So you actually hold it for three seconds, right? I'm going to get to the hardware differences, but right now we're going to talk about the software and the UI. Um... You turn it on, you hold the button, you hold the volume, the volcano button here for three seconds and it tells you power on, right? Then it tells you Bluetooth mode, which I feel is something that's unnecessary because these are Bluetooth earbuds. It is, you can't really connect them via Wi-Fi, right? So them telling you that it's Bluetooth mode is irrelevant and like a waste of time, but it's there and it's okay. You get used to it, right? And then it tells you when you're connected to the phone, right? And then it tells you when you're disconnected. It even tells you when the battery is low. So I, I think the voice, the voice for that is, uh, please charge. It tells you to please charge the earbuds when the battery, when the battery percentage is too low, right? So that's great. That's amazing. It's good. It's not perfect, but it does the job that's required. Now as soon as you switch over to the Scorpio series, 
it's much different. There's no voice. It's a bunch of beeps. Now you have to memorize all those beeps and what they mean. So I I'm not gonna lie. I've forgotten them. I remember that one beep is that it tu- it's it's two beeps that it turns on. One beep when it's connected to the phone. Then another beep when it's disconnected. And then it's three beeps when it tells you that the, it's a whole bunch of things. Right? There's no specific um sound it makes in the Tori series when you change a song. I think it's just yeah. You double tap and then you play the next song, right? But um, that's actually pretty normal. I love that. I love that. But for the Scorpio series, it's it's just it's it's way out of whack, right? Which I don't understand, by the way, because if you're gonna have an earbud, um, if you're gonna ha- like streamline a bunch of earbuds, right? Don't change the software too much because you'll find that someone switches over from the Story series, like how I did in January. To the Scorpio series because the Scorpio series looks aesthetically more aesthetically pleasing than the Taurus ser- than the yeah than the Taurus series did, right? And then you change the software. Here, if you want to go backwards, if you want to re- like um play the previous song, you triple tap here. But for the uh, Volcano series, you had to triple tap on this side. It made no sense. It didn't. I didn't understand that. It, like, why would you change the software? What if someone was switching and then you? It's just very poorly planned. Right. Um, that was the software. Now we're gonna get to the hardware, which I think I just mentioned now. But that's yeah. Um, the buzz I'm using right now don't look as good as the Scorpio series. That I will have the the price for that has to go over to the Scorpio series because the Taurus series they're just plain and okay. They're not perfect. They they don't look they don't look special, but. The Scorpio series, on the other hand, look very, very nice. They look very, very nice. Right? I think I mentioned in my previous video how I liked how nice they look. Right? It, it was they were very minimalist. They were, it was a very minimalist look, which I like. Right? But as soon as you get to using the hardware, then it's a problem. Right? So, like I mentioned, the tapping, the whole tapping thing, I didn't like that. It wasn't very pleasing. Right? But another. Another thing that I noticed, so previously when I first bought these ones in January, they came with rubber ear tips, right? I kind of lost them because this thing broke off and got lost a while back. But yeah, they came with rubber ear tips and they were fairly large, right? Not like large, but like um, the distance between where you insert the ear tip into the earbud and like the canal for it to go into your ear, it was a fairly long distance, which is a good thing. Right, because it allows you to squeeze your ear in more. But as soon as I switched to these ones, I realized that, like, uh, same same t- Tory series, both Tory series. These ones, the ear tips were longer, and then this one they cut them short. I and it's a different material. It feels like a different material. It doesn't feel as good. So when you put them in your ear, it doesn't feel. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. right? So you have you have to get used to it. You get used to it over time. That's fine. I mean, it's not really such a big deal. You do get used to it, but it's still weird, like, initially, right? Whereas the Scorpio series, they came with the normal, same rubber ear tips that you got when you were using these ones. But that's just my thought. I'm probably nitpicking at this point, but I just feel like that's very important if you're going to do a product review on something that you used both versions of, and both, and the same version, just different uh, times apart. I don't even think they wanted, they wanted, they, it was probably a subtle difference that they wanted to tell you, but yeah. Another thing is that, again, these ones are the ones I bought in January. I think I've mentioned that like a million times now, but anyway, that's important. I need that to be stated. These ones I bought recently. Now, I actually realized that hardware-wise, right, the black ones and the white ones are different. So, they probably made different hardware changes which is why the rubber ear tips are different. But the reason, the way I noticed this is that for some apparent reason, I don't know what came over me, I felt like taking the black earbud and putting it in the white case to see if it, it would charge. And I realized that the magnets, that's like a magnet that like help the earbuds stick to the case, are different. So if you're going to put it inside, this is the this is the left side, yeah. If you're gonna put it inside the left side, it doesn't actually fit, like not properly, right? Yeah, it doesn't actually fit, but it's the same type of ear, but just a different color. So I don't know what what that is all about, 
right? And then if you like basically it falls out, but if you take left side, same earbud, but diff same same earbud, same side, boom, doesn't fall out, doesn't fall out, all right. And it's the same with the other earbud, vice versa. The magnets here are different to the magnets for this case. I don't know, I just felt like I should throw that out there. The more information you guys have, the better, right? The more informed of a decision you can make. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I know I was ranting a lot, but it's that, yeah. So, like I said at the beginning, if you still have the receipt from buying the Cyber Monday and buying the Scorpio earbuds, I suggest that you go back and you get the more expensive version. Did I talk about the price? I talked about the price, yes. I suggest you get the more expensive version, even though these ones are 600 Rand, as compared to the Scorpio's 500 Rand, and you thought you were making a bargain, please, I don't know what prices they were the Cyber Monday. I don't know, but um, if you, I assume you got them cheaper. If you did get them cheaper, please go back to the shop, right? Hopefully you didn't order it online. <sighs> please go back to the shop and spend the extra 100 Rand, because these ones are way more worth it, right? They are way more worth it as compared to the Scorpio series. Trust me. Another thing, one last thing that I want to mention before I close off this video, except for asking you guys to comment down below what earbuds you bought, what tech you'd like to me to review next, like the video, subscribe and turn on notifications if there's something you're into. Right. One last thing I'd like to mention is that the was the right earbud, the right earbud for the previous for the Scorpio series had connection problems. Right. And it wasn't just me, I got this on my previous video in the comment section. So I, I just feel like that's also something else that should be noted. Right. And I experienced a few connectivity and charging issues, but again, that's just me nitpicking. Right. But yeah, that's basically all the information I have right now. And I think I'm going to close out the video. The next video should be coming up soon after this because I'm going to record it. But yeah, I'll... Guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.